Exo Moon. This is a megawatt by Deadwing. We are on to map four out of 20 or 22, I can't even remember. It's a boom megawatt, I'm on GL Boom Plus. Here's map four on Plutonia Difficulty. Start. By the way, 174 enemies, two secrets, 51 items. This is called Flooded Castles. Oh boy. Got rid of some of those guys. Um, ooh. Uh, oh yeah, they have very few hit points. Wow. Yeah, he barely survived one super shotgun last. So... Um... Yeah, I don't know. What do they have? 250 hit points or something? No, the Super Shotgun can do... I forget the numbers, but... I think they're the Cacodema replacement, and they definitely have less health than they do. I guess we go in here. Grab some health. There's a switch there. Chain gun. Some more bullets. Shells. Alright, so we got a door here. Oh, there's a switch. Well. There's the exit. Always good to get a view of the exit. Um, yeah, I like the look of this map. Here's the flooded castle theme. I like this tech texture. The green and brown and gray. Um, yeah, let me show you something. Here's the thing about Exo Moon, this wad. Uh, I mean, it's nice looking. It really does look nice. It's got these fresh textures, but sometimes they're just used monotonously a little bit. I mean, this is basically a, a Rock 5 or Rock 4 modification, and uh, see how far it goes. And the same thing here. I mean, now this is a nice texture. It's got a lot of color. It tiles nicely, so it's not that big a deal to use this one for this whole room, but... You, you, you can you can imagine how this might look a little bit nicer with a few things to break it up. I think it looks fine. Just uh, if you're going to take the next step from good to great, I think that's what you'd have to consider. All right, so let's just start hitting switches. Okay, that just okay. So now I can go up here. I can go in there, I think. Okay, so I could go in there. And then there's a switch here. Okay, maybe that opens the door. Hmm. So, which door do I take? Let's save it there. Should I jump down into the water? Well, there's a staircase right there, so why not? Got rid of some monsters. Cost me a lot of health to do it, though. These guys 
coming from. Oh, he came through there and all the way around. Okay. No more? Thank you, this fire did like nothing. Looks like I can get back up here. Some goodies. Yeah. Ooh, rocket. That's worth the save. And this is okay. Yeah, I really like the flow of this map, the way that it's all kind of connected and everything. Um Actually, I think you could even, I think you could probably make this jump. Hmm. Well, yeah. So let's, yeah, let's, let's try this. how there are always lots of lifts to get back up. Deadwing doesn't usually make you travel the whole level just to get back where you were. Okay, so now I'm here again.
Another rocket launcher. Could have went worse and better, but it wasn't too bad. All right. So what I like that Deadwing does, yeah. Here again, you see this rock texture all the way around. It's nice to have the trees in there. That's cool. But I think it would be nicer yet to break that up with a second or third texture in there with it. Um, but what I like that Deadwing does is, you know, these are very exploratory maps where you can take a lot of different paths. So there's been at least two rocket launchers that aren't secret, so it's good to have different ways to get the weapons. Because there's not really a true prescribed order. Oh, I opened the door. starting to build up a significant amount of weapons. Come on, fatty. Alright, so there's a blue key, and there's a switch. Ah, crap. So, oh yeah. Kind of a fun trap there. Alright, what's this? I didn't even see this before. Alright, a few more goodies. Yeah, I just really love how this map is so interconnected. I mean, you can tell Deadwing really plans out maps ahead of time. It's not just a matter of well, let's open up Doom Builder and start drawing lines. You know, I feel like there's a full sketch or something ahead of time. Alright, so blue key. Um, I don't remember if I've seen blue door or not. Um, blue door, let's take a look. Oh, is that a blue door or is that a teleporter? Oh, wait, over there? Oh yeah, I haven't gone over there yet. Apparently there's a blue door up in there. We'll see. We'll just go to that area I haven't gone yet and see 
what we can find over there. Yeah, even though the textures are somewhat monotonous, and even though it's very uh, wide open, it's still, I don't, I'm, I usually don't find it easy to get lost. I, you know, I, I know what's going on. I know where I'm going in general. Um, this is what I want to do right here. I want to go over here and see what we get over here. So I can explore the water a little bit. Hmm. All right. this way a long time ago, so what do I get? A rocket launcher. You know, that's just good design. That's not a jump I can make from here. More rockets. Huh. Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to start searching now for a place to use the blue key. Well, still more exploring to do down here, I guess. That's just red key only. Okay. We'll go back. We'll find somewhere else to go. Oh, wait. What's this? Oh, just an alternate path. Okay. Alright, so I gotta try to... That looks like a secret. Where is that? Uh. Go up back in here. Oh, okay. I see. Hmm. So yeah, it seems like I gotta go over there. How do I get over there? Not really sure. What did I miss? Have I done that yet? Oh wait, here's... Oh. Let's go down here. First. Or over here and here first. And then we'll go back. Well. No. We're gonna go over here first. And then we'll go down there. Yeah. Oh. I've already been... Okay, so this is just an alternate path to that whole situation. And that's how you get the blue key. Okay, so, yeah, and then I came out here. Alright, so let's go down here. Oh, I thought there was a ledge right there. That's way over there. <laughs> Alright, try that again. Yeah, see here again, I mean, it's just all brown, all the same stuff. I really, I, I always like the geometry and the heights and everything, it's just the textures themselves. Ah, there's blue. Oh, Alright, 
So this might just be a teleporter. Ah, just a red key. So I ended up not actually going anywhere, I don't think. I'm still basically where I was. I just have the red key, right? Okay. Now, is this where I dropped down to some potions? Yes, it is. Oh, seriously? And then I fall off. Oh boy. What do we got here? Do that again, because that's probably a secret over there. Not a secret. That's not a secret either. I got a plasma gun. So I like how that was like a whole side quest for the secret. I got a feeling this map's gonna get real hard at some point. No, there's not many monsters left. Yeah, it's a little heavy on ammo, it seems. All the rockets I've got in particular surprises me a little bit. All right, so, red key. Yeah, I just really love that I've never played this map before, and yet, like, I've got the whole thing, not the whole thing, but I've got it memorized enough that I can run around. I know where to go when I get the keys and everything. So, that's, that's good. We'll grab that. Soul spheres, huh? Well, I only got like 25 enemies left. Oh, there's nothing even over there. I'm glad I went that way first then. Only two secrets. like 30 rockets from here. It's crazy. Okay, it's gotta hit the fan, like, 
right when I hit the switch. Maybe there's a sewing here down there. Yep. <laughs> Actually, I have no idea where the yellow door is. I know where the exit room is. Oh, there's a the yellow door right there. Okay. Um, alright. I'll go to the yellow door. the exit. Huh. So now, yeah, okay. Nope. I think that's teleporter. No, that's the exit. Okay. Fun, 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 fun. Really like that map a lot. Um, you know, Exo Moon, um, in general, and kind of Deadwing style in general, reminds me of, uh, a mapper called Jaska, or Yaska. Just kind of similar environments, but uh, yeah, I really like it. I really like the map. Really like the visuals. Just could use a little bit more uh, detail, kind of breaking up some of the monotony with the long stretches of the same texture. I think it. I think it works more than it would with Star Tan or or, or something like that. Um, but yeah, just the. The layout and the flow of being able to choose your own adventure to a, a pretty large degree is awesome. And uh, the combat is just really good. The monsters placed in positions that really make you think about your moves and, and calculate how you're going to go about business. So, really fun. I thought this one was a little heavy on ammo towards the end, just with all the rockets you were being given. Um, because there's not a ton of super close quarters, so you're able to use those rockets, and they just keep giving them to you. And even even facing a cyber team, even if I don't get that plasma gun, I'm probably gonna super shotgun him anyway, rather than rocket him. Um, so I don't know, just maybe a little bit too much rocket ammo towards the end there, but uh, really good map, really good map. <laughs> 